Buenas, ¿qué tal? Hello, hello. Um, my presentation will be kind of a kind of a story. Uh, I just did it right now, so it, if it, it's kind of unstructured, uh, very good. Okay, thank you. So, when I was studying at the university, my friends and I wanted to create a gaming development school. So, we started working on creating the organization that would prevent uh, the people working on this studio from destroying the remote projects. And we started studying why that, why that happens, right? So by now you know uh, common numbers among the startup community, like uh, if you do something 10 times, you, you try uh, 10 projects, and one of them is successful, it is right, right? Because that is, that is the success rate of projects. So you should uh, be discouraged by that. But by data collected on um, centers in, the, in our universities, and uh, also by anecdotal things you, you, you see with your own eyes, uh, this number in Latin is more like 1 in 100 or 1 in 1,000. So it was of imperative importance to prevent us to destroy our own projects. Um, so it, this ties a little bit with the idea uh, Max says earlier, yesterday, yesterday, yesterday yeah, uh, that you can create systems or the environment you need to modify yourself. So we seek out uh, in, that, in, in those days to modify our behaviors. And studying more about the things, uh, we became um, kind of building, building this cultural box. Well, if it takes a little while to, to load up. So, we constructed a system that allows us to build cultures. And these cultures, for example, we need a, first a culture of coexistence. Because from the data we connected, we in Latin had a coexistence problem. And that's why a lot of successful projects, whatever the objective was, if it was a social impact, um, uh, just a business or whatever, no matter the objective, the, the, the story was repeating about people uh, not coming around on how they would distribute the, the value collected by the project in itself in case it becomes a business. And one of them, instead of uh, expressing the values, uh, defining them, and working on them, working on it for the values, uh, will say, hey, I have an idea. Why don't we just call this doll, uh, just uh, distribute everything the project was equally between the members, and let's end this as friends. So, uh, that's why we built, uh, it's kind of the we built a system where you had culture. And the culture is defined by the values. Values meaning as these empty boxes. Um, we went on and designed a system that would guide us to what we wanted to become. So, the thing is, uh, you need to have the behaviors uh, you want to see as personal people, right? And it goes, uh, and the organization we want them to do is horizontal, right? So everyone will evaluate themselves and they will evaluate their peers. So the evaluations will go around between uh, having more points in the, let's draw the scale. If you think you are expressing more of the desired behavior, for example, uh, on skill, on, pro, on skill, on pro, on productivity, right? Uh, let's say if you, if you, think, or you or your peers think you dedicate your time to solve important problems and difficult problems, then that will be fine. But if your peers think 
you are kind of invading solving difficult problems and doing just the menial things to fake work and are just a uh, high concept this will be a problem, right? So, and the system works like this. Let's say I'm doing the menial thing, I think really important. Maybe I'm putting a great show, right? <laughs> so my peers will go and my five will be zero one or two and that uh, opens a learning opportunity for them to learn that I'm working hard or for me to learn that I'm not working as hard as I thought I was. So as you, as you see, uh, to conduct this process, first you need to agree on what the definitions will be. For example, uh, we define the first block of coexistence uh, with a con contribute no others with this like don't uh, don't undo stuff, right? And because we are humans and third one, try to fix what you need. And usually the people around you will be interested in helping you. So these were our three <coughs> core values of the coexistence. We implemented that in a kind of uh, co-working space, hack space, co-living space, called the Rosamina Studio. Uh, but it was that. Okay, there's the picture. <laughs> uh, so we were actually kind of amazed that it worked. Uh, and we were able to bring people who were working in remote, call centers, freelancing, from, value, from all the axes, be they were implementing and developing new technologies, or they were replicating methods, they were vertical, they were horizontal, the, the coexistent block was flexible enough to make them coexist with this. And they were contributing to the space, uh, the resources, and even the maintenance and cleaning and everything, so it would be run. So once we had that, then we worked in our in our own values about working, independent from the point system value. Right? So uh, let's say the process of you run with all these blocks, oh, we also build um, there's the truth, there's the picture, the puzzle. Uh, uh, we build a hackathon that is uh, this style, these steps that you agree. You want to define it, to work on it, to, to evaluate you, yourself and your peers before uh, you create a conflict because in my opinion, and what I've been talking with people here in, in these days, uh, the, the aversion of conflict and delaying it, the more you can, it is what is what's destroying all these things. So you have to address that and put a date on it and make it happen, right? And this is the critical point where all the conflict is based on. So you have your conflict, and the conflict I can learn about myself, or people, and people can learn about things they all learn. We reevaluate, we can adjust the metrics, and then the cost. The blockchain. Supposing this was a job, you did, and there's the revenue, you put the tokens, and the tokens are distributed. And that's it. You have a meritocracy system based on these human values. So the aim of this it is not to condition us, uh, the machine is dictating the thing or anything of that. It is rather something akin to creating systems that support us into being humans, that allow us to fail, allow us to try to fix our things, because it is the, that is the human thing. And we have to factor it in every system we're saying. And also, let people, I'm finishing, let people uh, create their own system. For example, what if you want to play your Microsoft? Uh, of course, you don't have the money, right? And that will change a lot of things. But, what if you want to implement a system like we want to be radical capitalists? I mean, the next month I will. I want to be socialist. But you can try it. You just have to need to define 
what are the expressions of those values in the A response. So, we made hackathons, we made, uh, then we scrapped all of this and included a, met uh, a metric that is completely based on luck and it's kind of sensors, right? But it, it led us to create a raffle that I'm going to talk about that yesterday. And we use it to include artists in the time and make, make them in the empty circles if they give their NFT and get money back. So even luck can be there. Thank you. Thank you. So only two questions. Uh -huh. <laughs> My psychologist say it will create happy families. <laughs> <laughs> There's something you're looking to apply in San Pedro Technique? Actually, no, and I'm more interested in the structure. Mm -hmm. um, all these applications come from needs we don't have in trust. So, uh, uh, as you can see, it is something we created for ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, but the applications are going to be out there. Do you have a particular ask? Or, Sorry? An ask or anything of integrating it with Prosper or something like that? Or, um, I don't have to know? work a lot to implement it here, but, <laughs> 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 but if it's me, it can be done. Correct. Right, thank you, John. Thank you.